Welcome to another Astrological Zenergy video where I talk about some of the planetary energies that can be impacting your life right now and some ways that can help you keep your Zen while riding the waves of that energy. We're going to be talking about Pluto being in retrograde and Uranus heading into its pre-shadow to its own retrograde. And if you want to know more about just retrogrades in general, I have a special video where I introduced retrogrades, which I'll have linked in the description box of this video below as well as at the end of this video there will be a link to the playlist for all of my astrological Zenergy videos. Alrighty, well let's take a look at Pluto. Pluto goes retrograde every year because it's so far out in the solar system that Earth laps it quite a bit. Uh, Pluto is a planet that does bring a lot of inner reflective energy, so it helps us as humans to learn and evolve. Uh, we'll have been in the pre-shadow of Pluto's retrograde since January 10th of 2024. I will, of course, give you more advance notice next time. I just started doing these videos after that, so we'll uh, not be so surprised by that next year. Uh, a pre-shadow is when the planet starts to appear to slow down from our perspective on Earth before it appears to go backwards. And of course, planets don't really speed up or slow down or go backwards or uh, any of that. It's all about the perspective we have from Earth. In the pre-shadow, we begin to feel those effects of the planetary retrograde bit by bit until we go full retrograde and feel the full effect. So we've already been experiencing these energies of transformation and super focus on our addressing our own self-destructive behaviors, patterns, habits, and belief systems, but they will intensify during the actual retrograde itself that starts on May 2nd. But no worries, you know, we'll be a little used to those energies having had experienced them all this time for the last four months. Now, Pluto is in Aquarius and it plays a significant character role in the introduction of the age of Aquarius. Going to be singing that song in your head, right? And <laughs> we'll be in this energy for about 20 years. So get used to it. You know, Pluto's not a uh, it's a not so secret agent of death and rebirth. You know, Aquarius energy does reflect the ending of old ways because they no longer serve us where we're headed. And that energy works well with Pluto as they support each other working towards the same goal. Pluto dips back into Capricorn from September 3rd all the way through November 20th, where that Saturn energy that uh, rules over Capricorn is this energy of tasking and questioning old ways. It allows us to reflect upon what opinions we took on as our belief system that we heard growing up, what stories we learned through our experiences, and what we want to keep or change as we see some of these things as the lies of fear that they are. You know, we're ready to leave behind those thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve our path. Pluto does go direct during that period on October 11th, signifying the transition into the post-shadow period. And Pluto does bounce back into Aquarius on November 20th to continue in the energy of determining our new ways and thoughts. Now, further we move away from October 11th in that you know, post shadow period, the less intense the retrograde energy is. And it's a time to reflect on what we learned during the pre shadow and retrograde period with all that energy. And we eventually move out of the post shadow period on January 31st of 2025. So uh, settle into that energy. Like I said, it's going to be with us for a little bit. We also have another planet that is entering its pre-shadow, so let's talk about Uranus. Like Pluto, Uranus also goes retrograde every year because of its distance from the Sun and from the Earth. 
you know, Earth's orbit is faster because, of course, we are closer to the sun. So, like individuals running on a, a like a running track, whoever is closest to the inside actually runs less than someone who is running on the far outside of the track. And we do spend around 40% of our lives going in and out of retrogrades from the outer planets like Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus, and around 33% of our time for Saturn and Jupiter. And with all this pre and post shadow periods, probably pushes all of that up to more like 50% of the time. Here's a quick screenshot that shows, you know, all the planets, how often we go into retrograde, how long the retrogrades actually last, etc. Um, but the pre and post shadow does extend those those times. And I mentioned all this just to bring perspective around retrogrades, that they're normal and they happen quite often in our human lives. This year, Uranus begins its long trek into its retrograde by entering its pre-shadow on May 16th, and it won't go full retro until September 1st through January 30th of 2025, finishing up its post-shadow on May 17th of 2025. The whole process lasts just a tiny bit, a little over a year. And as I mentioned earlier, we begin to feel this impacts of the retrograde as the pre-shadow starts and the planet begins to slow down. And then after the planet goes direct, we have that post-shadow period where the planet begins to reverse in degree, moving back forward. And that's when we have that time to reflect on what we learned during the pre-shadow and retrograde period. The closer we move to the retrograde date, the stronger and more intense the energy becomes, as well as the further we move away from it during the post-shadow period, the less intense it becomes. Uranus retrogrades can afford us some powerful opportunities to have like a reset in our lives, our thoughts, our beliefs, uh, and it allows unexpected things to flow rather than having us resist them. The old ways just don't work anymore, so you're interested in discovering and formatting new ways. And this Uranus planet energy, which actually rules over Aquarius, joins Pluto in Aquarius, aiding us in expanding the inner inquiry and helping spark that rebel energy. But Uranus is in Taurus the rest of this year and through the post-shadow period. Uh, so all the way up until, like I said, May of next year. And uh, because of that, that Earth sign energy helps us ground and anchor ourselves within these new ways, forming new habits and new beliefs. So all this energy working together, you know, Aquarius, Pluto, death and rebirth, Uranus is like Aquarius energy. So all of this is why it's bringing us such different changes. And we'll keep a, an eye on the different energies as we do weekly pick a cards and as we, you know, um, do live readings and different things just to see how is this impacting you individually. And if you're interested in any kind of um, personal readings, uh, all that's listed down in the description box below. I do offer a variety of different services if you want to check those out too. So that's it for now. Short and easy. I hope this information on planetary energy, you know, changes and all this helps you be aware of the astrological weather and can help you in maintaining your Zen as much as possible. Just at least knowing that it's existing is like half the battle. And if you have ways that help you with this energy or any additional knowledge that you want to share regarding these retrogrades or any planetary energies, you can comment down below on this video. We can all help each other with tools that aid us in surfing uh, the emotional energy and learn, of course, from each other too. And you can also let me know if you have any questions on any of the information by commenting on the video down below or even feel free to send an email to me at bredazen at gmail.com. Till next time, please remember every second of every day of your life that you are eternally and unconditionally loved by the Mother and the Father of all things, our Creator 
And of course, I love you too. So hang in there, take care of you. We'll see you soon.